what's up people welcome back to the channel so i've gotten tons of messages like people trying to get clarity on the salary threshold for skilled worker visa so i thought to make a video about it so that more people are aware of it just because you are required to earn a minimum of thirty-eight thousand seven hundred, for you to qualify for a skilled worker visa does not mean that it is applicable to everyone okay so there are exemptions when you can be paid less on a skilled worker visa and this is what i'll be covering so that you know which job or salary threshold you qualify to be able to meet skilled worker eligibility even though you're not earning up to 38,700. so let's get right into it Hey lovelies, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Faith Ojone and this is your go-to channel for anything information, lifestyle and storytelling. So if these are the kind of contents that interest you, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down below, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Without saying so much, let's get straight into it. Bye -bye. As core photography, we believe that every moment is precious. It's our mission to freeze those moments and preserve them for generations to come. Whether it's the joy of family reunion, the intimacy of portrait session, or the excitement of a special event, we are here to honor your memories through our lens. I'm Peter, lead photographer at Core Photography, a passionate photographer who believes in the power of capturing authentic moments that tell compelling stories. My journey into photography began in 2016, and since then, I have immersed myself in the art of documenting life. We are a London-based photography business that specializes in portraiture, family, and event photography. We offer a range of services that is tailored to suit your needs. For more information, you can visit our website www.callphotography.co.uk. You can also send us a DM to book an appointment via our Instagram handle at callphotography and we are here to capture your memories. Understanding when you can be paid less on a skilled worker visa, the skilled worker visa usually requires you to meet the specific salary threshold, which is about 38,700. But in certain situation, you can still qualify to apply for a skilled worker visa on a lower salary. If you meet one of the several criteria, then you can apply for a skilled worker visa. I'm gonna be breaking down when you can be paid less and everything. The standard salary requirement to get a skilled worker visa is 38,700, okay? or the ongoing rate for your job. The ongoing rates for your job is usually published on gov.uk where you see the salary threshold and all of that. So you can check the ongoing rates for your job. So let's say the job you're applying for meets the um, job eligibility to be able to sponsor you and the ongoing rate is like £30,000 per annum, then you can still apply for a skilled worker visa. But remember, the job must be eligible for visa sponsorship before you can apply. So there are exceptions where you can earn between 70% and 90% of these rates. If your salary is at least £30,960 and you meet certain conditions, you are under the age of 26, studying or a recent graduate in a professional training you can qualify for 70% of your job's standard rate. From bachelor's degree and above, and you have been living in the UK for the past two years, or you're on a graduate visa, or you were at least the last two years, or you're working towards a qualification in a regulated profession or chartered status in your field of study. Most importantly, you can only stay for up to four years under this condition. Also, any time spent on graduate visa counts towards this limit. If you meet any of this exception I just listed, then you qualify for the um, lower salary threshold um, eligibility for sponsorship. Another way you can be exempt from the higher salary threshold for skilled worker visa, which is 38,700, is if you have a PhD level qualification related to your job, and if you have a PhD relevant to the subject, your salary requirement might drop to like 80% of the job going rate. If your PhD is in science, technology, 
engineering or math which is like the stem courses you must still earn at least 30,000 pounds and annually to qualify for skilled worker visa. If you're working in any of this occupation, your salary is definitely going to be above 30k. Make sure your PhD is either UK or recognized equivalent, is directly related to your job. If it's from outside the UK, it may need to be verified by the ECCT, that's formerly known as NARIC. If you are in a postdoctorate role in science or higher education, if you're working in a postdoctorate role in certain field, you may qualify for 70% of the standard rate if your job falls under one of these codes, which is chemical science, biological science, physical science, social humanity sciences, and higher education teaching profession. Also, the four-year limit applies. For example, let's say you came to the UK on a study visa, you did your one-year master's degree, and you spent one year on graduate visa, and you get a job with visa sponsorship, you can only spend four years on this lower salary threshold. So that means you need to either grow in your career and start any more within that four-year period. Another people who are exempt from the higher salary threshold are those people who work in healthcare and education and visa extension. If your job is on the immigration salary list, often healthcare and education jobs, you may only need to earn £30,960 a year and benefit from the lower visa fee. Extending or updating a skilled worker visa, if you receive your first skilled worker visa or tier 2 visa before April um, 4th, 2024 you've held your sponsorship continuously you can qualify for the lower rates for up to 29,000 pounds or the lower going rates for your occupation this lower rate will be revealed over time this is how you can check if your role qualifies for the lower salary threshold you need to check the job going rates on gov the uk and the salary expectation and check the immigration salary list to confirm if your role qualifies for a lower raise and reduce visa fee. Ensure that you apply for specific region, UK-wide or specific parts of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. We know that ongoing salary rates differs based on the region, okay? Alternatively, you can apply for Global Talent Visa. Global Talent Visa can be an alternative for students. So this visa has no minimum salary requirements and doesn't require a language test and also offer flexibility for leaders in academia and research. International students who don't want to be tied to employer, you can, you know, try the global talent visa because I mean, if you're doing your PhD and all of that, you may qualify for a lower salary threshold if you're under 26 years old, have a relevant PhD or are in a postdoctorate role. Roles and location matters. So check the ongoing rates on the immigration salary list to see if a lower rate applies to your job and region. And consider the global talent visa if you're in a top academia or research position. I mean, go ahead and do your research, okay? Okay. Based on my own findings, this is all I know and I got my information from directly from the government website so you can go check it out. I'll leave the link to when you can be paid lower and be qualified for visa sponsorship even though you're not earning 38700 okay? So we have come to the end of this video. If this video was helpful, you know what to do my G's. Hit the subscribe button. I'm excited today. I don't know why but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye.